at first I didn't know where I was. The slavers put us into boxes on the deck of their ship to prevent us from jumping overboard. Many a captive boy befared death by drowning into a life of slavery. On board, I heard two men talking in low tones, in Latin, and I spoke to them. Ubi imus, where are we going? My heart sank at their reply. Ad Ibernia imus, puer in flexissimus. My heart sank knowing that I was going to Ireland, a barbarian country. I will never see my family again. But God had a plan for me. And my only weakness was this, that I did not know or have any faith in his plan. For I, Patrick, a sinner, a most simple countryman and the least of all faithful and was most contemptible to many at the time of my captivity at 16 years of age. And I, in all my smallness, am to be found among foreigners. Now, I am 18 years of age and I've been a slave of Milku, of Dalriada for two years now, tending sheep on his mountain, Sleeve Mish, or Slemish, as the locals call it. But here, God spoke to me. And I thank God for my slavery and for raising awareness of my this truth. Tarlo Machlawe, Tarlo Machlawe. Come, slave, Penny. What do you want of me, master? It is our feast tonight, the feast of Astara, the start of the season of spring and charach. We will set fires and thank the gods that the winter is past, that the death of the year is now complete and the year is born again. The night shall be equal to the day. Equinoctium. This is what ye Romans call it. I no longer observe Roman feasts. That does not matter. You will observe ours. The four chieftains of the clans approach imminently. And you will serve them. Our fire is set. They will come bearing fire to worship the gods and you will serve them. I will not. You. You dare to look at me, boy! Ah! Who are you? Ah! Lower your eyes, boy, or I swear I'll win it till you have no skin left. You are my slave, and I host the chieftains of the clans. You will serve them. You will take them to the fire, offer them food and drink, and make their right before them by the fire in honour of the gods. Master, I cannot, I will not. I serve only God. I cannot serve at your face. Kate the Wallach Dart. But the amina of defiance. What God? Which one do you speak of, stupid boy? Already the people gather on the mountain top to witness our feast. You will not defy me. Last night, I had a vision, Master. I dreamt of a cross of light that shot across the entire sky, and God spoke to me. He said that I would serve him and only him. <laughs> Do you want what? Till you have not but a thumb span of skin on you, boy. I serve only God. No other. Already the people arrive and the chieftains will be here before the night falls. You will serve them or you will become an offering to the gods. But within the fires to serve the lust of the gods for the flesh of men. Do you understand me, boy? Yes, master. Yes, master. I understand. You will obey me, or you will burn alive in the fires that we raise to the gods. Where in Felix Sisyphus, the most unfortunate boy. And now I am left with a choice that will either define my life or assure my death. 
Do I trust in God and hope I do not die a human sacrifice to the non-existent gods of the pagan Celts? Or do I trust in God and hope that he can influence a brit unbeliever like Milku? And if I am to die, can I be strong enough to let the flames of the equinoctial bonfire consume me without discerning God? The God that called me to faith. And now, I am to be tested. And maybe, to die. But if I do not trust in God, then I will have no faith. But if I do trust in God, then I will die at a horrible death too. But if I live, then God must have saved me for no other agency in the world of man can do so. So that is it. If I do not trust in God, then I will have no faith and I will not know what I've lost and I will gain nothing. So let them kill me, for I am God's servant and I will go to him on my death. So it will be. Amen. Last night, I dreamt of fire. But when I woke, I was still dreaming. It was a vision, a waking dream. I dreamt of a cross on which the Son of God was sacrificed. And the light shone so brightly across Flemish, across Dalriada, and across Ireland. And then I knew that God would protect me and that his light would banish all darkness. I am not afraid. I, I am not afraid. Patrick, slave. You are my servant. I have ordered you to attend the chieftains. Do you assent? I will not serve the Milky. I serve only God. You know this means you will die. A sacrifice in our fire to the gods. I pray to you, God, that you will be the support in this hour of my death. The chieftains gather. You have but the time it takes them to reach the fire. Then your life is ended. I pray to you, God, that you will bring courage in my heart and love in my breast. And you will die, slave. You will die now. I pray to you, God, that I will be the vessel of your truth. Take me into your arms, God. Get him her. Welcome to our feast, lords. And to the sacrifice we make to the gods. This land, he will burn alive in our fires and all the other gods. <laughs> Light the fires! <laughs> Thank you.
God has showed me the cross and showed me my unbelief. And now I know that I am God's servant, not Milkus. And he has told me that I, Patrick, must go to Gaul, where I will study and learn. For whence I shall return to Ireland to convert the Irish to Christianity. For God knows all. And he has told me that I will light the fire that will spread across all Ireland, changing it forever. And he has told me that when I return, I shall be the shepherd of his flock. So come, people of Ireland and of all lands, join me on the true path up the mountain where we will be together as one people.